All right. Now, can we go to page five, please? Page number five. Uh, page number five is on the screen now. Once again, we are going to find all the missing angles. It's on page number five. Right. Let's look at page number five, please. It's on the screen now. Well, we got marks there. Watch the arrow marks. It tells me something. Right. That blue line is parallel to the green line, please. Can we name it? Let's just go and name the whole drawing. Uh, you also do the same with me, please. Right. Uh, let's take this point here, the point of contact, right, as, as A. Let's call it A and call this point there somewhere, right, as a T. That shows a tangent. A, T is a tangent, okay. Now, these points we call as B. Let's call it a B and let's call that a C. And this point here, call that as a D. Copy that in your worksheets, please. Copy those points. Okay, now that's the question on the screen. Any rules that we can apply that we have learned in this uh, lesson? A tangent is there. We are happy. We can also write there tangent if we want to. We can write there tangent. Okay. Now, from the tangent, I need to see a radius. Well, I don't really have any, so we cannot apply that. Let's look at alternate segments. Angle between tangent and chord, 55. Is there any angle made by this chord? We don't have. Now, let's look at the concept of those marks there. BD is parallel to AT. Right? Now, once you see that, we need to look at the alternate angles. Can you see a Z shape, please? Come on, check. BD and AT are non-intersecting lines. So that's the Z shape, watch there. This angle should be equal to that angle there, right? Alternate angles. It's a 55. Can I write there 55, right? Degrees, units, right? We got one. Now, anything else? Because we cannot apply tangent rules that we learned today, we look at part one and part two, right? Now, AC arc, AC arc is making two angles. Come on, watch. That's the first angle called A, AC, oh, sorry, this AD. AD makes an angle at C. The same AD is making an angle at B also. If that's a 55, do you agree that should also be 55? Angles in the same segment are equal, and we learnt it in part one. Okay, angles in the same segment. Right? After that, now, anything else that we can, we can find? Well, they asked us to find this C now. They want us to find the C. Right. Let's turn the picture like that. Same concept can you apply? Looking at angles in the same segment. I got BC there, watch BC. Oh, so is it C? Yes. BC is an arc. It's making two angles, one at D and one at A. So if that's a 25, do you agree this, this angle there should be 20, 25? Let's just go a bit close to, to see that. Right. That's a 20, 25. So this tiny angle there that much should be 25. That's at 25, please. Okay. Now, turn back and see, can we find C now? That small C there, that angle. Is there a way you can find this angle? Come on, people, that's a straight line. A tangent is a straight line that meets the circle at one point. It will touch the circle just at one point. That's a 180 straight angle concept. 55, 25, we are left with this angle here. We are left with this angle only. So come on, add that and take away from 180. 
Right, 55 add 5, 60. And then add the 20, 80. Obviously, that angle inside there should have been 100 degrees. Okay, simple straight angle concept. So that's how we did this question. Now, we are not able to apply, we were not able to actually apply the uh, tangent rules that we learned in this topic in this sum. So we, we looked at angles in the same segment, straight angle concept, see. So all those rules come back to solve the sums, right. Now you can, you can actually switch off this and then solve the rest of the sums, come back and check your answers if you want to, right. Now, uh, next sum, please, on the same page, next sum that's there. Well, a circle is there, pink one, and we have a triangle, and it's nice to see a center point and a line passing through. A, O, B, we know its keyword, we call that as diameter. Do not forget that, please. It's the diameter A, O, B. Okay. Now, we know the rule. Whenever you see a diameter, we got to look at semicircle. That's a semicircle on my right. That's a semicircle on my left. Angle in a semicircle, 180. Come on, part one. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Angle made by diameter, 90. Okay. We apply that concept and say this angle is 90. That's a 90, we know, right? Semicircle, come on, right angle made by this green line should be 90. Now, they want us to find M, P and N. Of course, giving valid reasons. Think about it. Uh, is there a radius? That's a radius there, O, B. Is there a tangent? Yes, BC is a tangent. Can you please write below as a tangent? That's a tangent, please. Now, radius and tangent. The angle between radius and a tangent is a right angle at the point of contact. So that's a 90. Right? According to the rules, that's 90. Now, concentrate on triangle ABC. Okay? The big triangle, do you agree that's a right angled triangle? We know the angle here is 90. Reason we know, that's a 58 they gave us, right? In the sum, it's given that's 58. You can find M. Come on, you can find M. Okay, now, uh, some of the three angles is uh, 180 or maybe if you add those two, it should be, it should be 90, all right? Now, take the 50 away from 90, we got 40. Then you take the 8 away, that should be 32. The angle there is 32. Okay, 32 degrees. M equals to 32, please. Now, let's look for N and P. Can you find N and P? Come on. Is there a way? It's a 90. 